Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of the Kingdom of Might. Ideas Guy Achievement Run in European Universalis 4. We basically usurped the Livonian Order's throne. Burgundy seeds land of France. Hey. So basically Aragon is the surprise here. France is doing well. Scotland might be able to do something against England considering how weak England is. Meanwhile Novgorod is about to implode. Occupied by Denmark, Sweden, Muscovy, Tiver. I mean... There's, there's some stuff. Stuff is going down. Meanwhile, we do have the ability to get a claim on the Teutons. So let's come back from Pomerania. Not yet. Let's wait until January the 1st so we don't get our, our improved relations to tick down. The city of Bezetsk has accepted peace with Tiver. My queen consort, those underheaded rogues have had the gall to claim Riga. So, even though I don't have a true, uh, an actual claim, if I were to declare Amorani does not owe the kingdom at least 10 favors, and with this CB, okay, so that doesn't really... I can't call him in on a province of territory. Okay, I need the claim. He's got a claim on Danzig, I've got a claim on Danzig. It's a bit of a pickle. The problem is, if I call him in on a province of territory, and he's closer, then that would be bad. I could land my army down there in Stolp before we declare. Just be ahead of him. Might work. I'm gonna go ahead and get the claim. If it breaks our relationship, then let's we'll just move on. It's fine. So, um, gotta wait a day. We declare using the conquest. We can call him in on a promise of territory. And then just not let him do any of the work. We have to fight Mecklenburg and Bremen. Mecklenburg has what? Well, Bremen is on tech three, so that's a good sign. And Mecklenburg. Is on tech 3 as well. So we have a huge tech advantage. We both have tech 4, they both have tech 3. This seems like a pretty decent opportunity here. Could you go ahead and give me some military access, sir? I am rather low on money, so let's avoid suffering any attrition. If we can. Going this route, we get there on the 21st. Going this route, we get there on the 23rd. So the game did choose correctly. Good. March the 7th. Ah, oh, dude, can I just have fleet basing? The charge is a fee of 0.5 ducats versus suffering 1% attrition on three troops. I don't know. 0.5 ducats is probably more. I only have one light ship, which is rather silly. Okay, good news is our cores are almost done. Getting another claim would be great. If I could get, like, these two provinces in the next war, it'd be spectacular. Please tell me he's got another mothballed fort. He's got a capital fort and a mothballed fort here. If we have naval superiority, we can cross Danzig into Konigsberg, which is defensive terrain, but... It could work. I'm gonna prep for war here. I would love to have that second claim. We do have the ability to have up to two more troops. It's gonna cause us to go into debt if we do this. Uh, let's let's mothball our fort for a moment. Let's um. Not be quite at full maintenance for a moment, but pretty high maintenance. I want to have almost full morale, enough that one recovery tick gets us up to full. Okay, there is a 7 stack there. Some cores are done, which means we won't have to be doing as much uh, rooting out of corruption, so we can actually raise maintenance a little bit higher. Austria got re-elected. Not surprising. Poland is currently attacker against Silesia in the Brandenburg. All right, so Bohemia? No. Attacker against Silesia. Brandenburg attacked Silesia and called Poland in. Which means that it was an internal prince that declared, which means that Emperor can't defend. Okay, to get a second claim, it's going to take me a little while. I am earning 2.11 a month. That's like five months I can get another claim on probably Konigsberg 
Onyxburg would be the make be the one that makes the most sense. So if we're gonna wait five months, let's go down to like 20% morale, make a little bit of money, get another core complete, wait for our other troop and bring it over. And I think we gotta jump on this opportunity here. Assuming that he has no other allies, this looks like a great opportunity for, for some conquest. We can also fabricate a claim on Novgorod, which uh, we don't actually border them yet. Right? Yeah, I don't actually border him at all. Well, we'll build up our spy network because you never know. Something could change. Okay, let's go full maintenance. Two months to go. And he's turned his fort on. Might be because he sees my units. On high morale with, uh, you know, they're, they're nearby. Let's turn the fort off again for a second. We have, uh, Separatists are pretty much not doing anything. Do it, man. Just mothball the fort. You know you want to. He doesn't want to. Okay, well that's unfortunate, but... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna claim it. Just mothball it, man. I swear I'm not gonna declare on you, I promise. No. He's gonna have none of that. Alright, let's declare this war. So, we declare for this, we call him in on a promise of territory, we lie to his face, because we can. The Teutons are on tech 4. Uh... I have some five favors with him. It's gonna be the conquest of Danzig, promise of territory, go. Go Blizzard and Snow. And we're gonna march onto Danzig, and then straight into Marienburg, if we can. Can't, because of the straits, even though we're not allowed to cross it. I lost a... no, he lost a galley. Okay, um... So the fort is on. He won't be able to get there before it's unmothballed, and he is blockading right now, but I can stop that. If he's gonna go up that way, I am going to... Take my loot tick. I'm gonna move forward with... Pretty much every troop. I gotta get to Konigsberg first, and I can't. I need military access through you. We already have the Alliance, so that's not a problem. Which means we can suddenly now go there. Great. You are trying to cross the capital into my... Cross that province into my capital. I can be there one day after and block you, so nope. Take a lesson from uh, Muscovy, dude. It's my island, you can't... No. Not allowed, sir. See, don't actually want to try to take that fort just yet. Not until we see something happen over here. We've got the war goal. That's the main thing. Make sure that the foolish ally we've called in can't actually do anything. That is a lot of ships out there. This is on the 29th. Let's try to get out there on the number that blocks them from getting here. Now, he he sees that as strategic interest, but he doesn't actually have a claim on it, so he should, in theory, transfer it to us. Wow, that's a surprising naval battle there. But if I take my navy over this way, I can't stop him from crossing. So, good luck, Pomerania! We have the defender. We have a tech advantage still, I think, over him. No, Bremen teched up. Ecklenburg's still on tech 4. 
We rolled a three. Followed up with a zero. And then a nine. Turning into a rather big fight. We did win, quite handily. Uh, there will be no combat there, so we don't need to chase. Do we? We chase and actually kill Mecklenburg, I wonder. It would take me until June to get over there, which is actually pretty fast. I could spend a month going that way. The zone of control of Königsberg would take back Danzig, though, which is real dangerous. I can't let that happen. Basically, just have to camp here and continue to block him from crossing the strait. And hopefully our vassal... <laughs> vassal? Yeah, basically our vassal. By the way, our vassal... <laughs> hey, Estonia, get your butt over here, man. Be supportive. Come attached to me. I want you to, uh... To go after... The capital. Estonia. What kind of general did you roll? 0221? Hey, we'll take a siege pip. June the 5th. Block that movement again. You can see why I chose Ocel as my center of operations. It's a pretty good province, turns out. Very defensible. It would be better if it had good terrain. And keep on giving up his siege, isn't he? I need to get my vassal over here. Estonia, you are loyal, so what is your problem, dude? Get, get over here. Hmm... Uh, the 5th, July the 5th, July the 6th. He's coming across the strait with a 113. We have three maneuver. We are the defender. It's not a fort, so he should. He should take a straight crossing here. Indeed, he did. And we rolled a 9 plus 1 versus a 1. Pretty solid. Not a very huge amount of time. You know, just three days in that massive phase, but. Uh, that's a pretty good fight there. Yep, that would be about. 1,700 or so, versus 5,300. Okay, part of the army is retreating to Stolp. In fact, all of the army is retreating to Stolp. We do not have naval superiority. But at this point, I think we can safely leave behind a single troop to protect our our, our holding in, uh, in Danzig, and then we can chase this army over here and stack wipe it, hopefully. There should be a stable government, the game says. Indeed it should. This is true. What are you doing suffering so much attrition? Okay, um... Stay attached to me, get over here. I'm gonna murder Mecklenburg. There's that stack wipe. And recover army, morale speed, nice. Berlin. Probably heading to Lubs... That would be a insufficient support, 110% discipline. Yikes. That's a lot of discipline. And he rolled an 8. Minus a 2. Yikes, yikes. So we get there on the 4th, he gets... No, we get there on the 9th, he gets there on the 4th. We'd be the aggressor in bad terrain. Let's not do that. Let's, yes, probably retreat from this insufficient support crazy man. Oh, that's not good for you. Oh, there's Teutonic Separatists. Damn, he's loyal to they're loyal to him. Let's retreat to here. He will arrive on the 12th. That may have been the wrong province to retreat to. Yeah, that would be the wrong province to have retreated to. I just got myself killed there. It's fine, we had too many infantry as is. Anyway. Okay, this this could be good. If we come into Danzig. Block that. Take the flat terrain fight here. He's got nine regiments. I've got some fewer. I think we don't actually want to take that fight. Even though it would be a decent fight, it would be... I would... I'm spending most of the, the points for it. Dude, what are you doing? Get down... Okay. You're going to siege this, Estonia. I'm going to tell you to be uh, aggressive. Do something. He's just sitting there. 
Okay, you're going to be um, siege focused. No, he says no. He says no, I don't want to do that. Okay, fair enough. Well, sooner or later, I'm going to have Siege down Marienburg, so... Do you happen to have a Siege Pip? You don't. Okay. I guess we go forward then with, uh... Just three infantry. Since it is just a level one capital fort. Novgorod seeds one, two, three provinces to Denmark. They return land to Muscovy, and they pay war reps, and they annul their treaties with Scotland. Of all people. Brandenburg refuses a demand for unlawful territory. Looks like he's coming to maybe force his way into my capital. Meanwhile, my vassal is a complete dolt and does not want to help me at all. Cannot march up that way. Let's see. I have military access right now through Poland, but not Lithuania. If I get access through Lithuania, perhaps my vassal will stop being stupid, and also perhaps we can just march around and then go engage with the, the stack attached to us. Then again, there's also that those armies over here that might sneak up behind me. Enthusiasm's looking pretty good on those guys. I think we just gotta sit here for now. We're making money, so at least there's that. He did actually siege down Goldingen. Stayed still for a while. Status quo, that's no fun. That's not good. Yeah, he should stop in Tuchola, not move here. Serbia giving land to Venice now. That's my island. Hey, Poland, how, how would you feel about, like, letting me win? Letting, let, let me win the game. Those would be some Lithuanian pretenders right there. So you want to siege down my level 3, not level 3, my level 2 coastal fort. Okay, good luck. Let me know how that goes for you. My vassal still says no, not gonna help. Oh my god, you got a wall breach. What are the chances? It's not very good. Chances are like 1 in 14. Okay, improve our prestige, that's a good mission. Especially with the ID group that I'm planning on taking. Dude, you got a wall breach and followed it up with a supply shortage. And now a blockade. Stop it. We need to see some more progress on the siege front here. Alright, the problem is that if I go that way, Konigsberg is going to take this province back from me. So, I need to leave a guy behind, which makes me very concerned. While also hoping that this guy stays attached. That is the wrong army. Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh. Oh my god. Just completely gave up my status, my, my siege progress there. That was beautiful, man. That's what I'm scared of, is the five stack getting over here and actually attacking Danzig. This is a little tricky. A little tricky. Oh my god, Estonia's moving! No way. Nassau refuses... <laughs> Mines refuses to grant military access to Nassau. Wall breach on Pomerania's capital. Brunswick has a personal union. Okay, we're the defender in good terrain. Mostly my allies' army, so that's decent. He may be retreating over to here. Probably to there. We need to get back over to here now. For security, I might want to move my army onto here. You got caught spying on him. If he stops in Konigsberg and I miss my opportunity for stack wipe, I'm going to be really upset. So let's go ahead and just try to go there. Now he's continuing on actually through Danzig, so he must be shattering all the way over to Mecklenburg. Otherwise, I don't know where he'd be. Oh, he could be shattering over to like Strassland. 
It also means that if we had naval superiority, we could have blockaded that straight crossing and caught him in Konigsberg. Look, it's my vassal! Um, attach to this army. I'm gonna leave behind... One of those guys. Dude, you don't have enough troops for that siege. Come help me with this one instead. Bring your siege pip. It's a coastal level 1 fort. Let's take it. Come on, man. Get over here. I, I demand that you be supportive. I want you to support... Where the hell are you going? I want you to support this army right here. You got military access. Come on. Path around. You can find your way. Get over here. Bring that siege pip over. Meanwhile, this guy's getting wrecked. We need to go relieve that level... That defensive siege. That would be a lot of dudes right there. Okay, hey, you are there on the 20th. We can be there on the 27th. You are in Kohlberg on the 22nd. We can be there on the... Not sure. Not fast enough. We don't want to be the aggressor in bad terrain. Uh, Novgorod's counter-rivaled me. I think we do go engage this guy. We hope that... Uh, our little dummy is coming over here to attach to this four stack. We hope that you turn around and that Danzig does not get reoccupied before I can get some more troops over that way. This is not ideal. Uh, you're supposed to be over here. Don't attach to this army. The battle, yeah, this one. Damn it, dude. Getting wrecked. Okay, uh, he arrives on the 20th. I can't retreat before then, otherwise we're going to be in trouble. And we're about to lose Danzig. I don't think we can get there in time. I am going to tell him to retreat. We're the aggressor. We just rolled a 9, though. Alright, we're going to wait until we roll poorly. That's poor. Let's go to somewhere else. You need to retreat, dude. Get out of there. Get out of there! Not good! You know, if you'd come over here earlier, we, we probably could have won that siege already. But no! Hmm... This is a little dicey now. We got a little bit of a war chest. We're okay for the moment. So long as Pomerania stays attached to me, we should be alright to prevent him from sniping the war goal. Uh, hold on. That's bad. Reorganize. Pull you guys back in. I want to take the these two instead. I don't want to detach like a cav because then my cav will end up right in the center and get wrecked. So this army is pretty much going to have to go behind the fort. And we got to hope that this guy wants to play straight, whatever you call it, for a while. Honestly, I care more about Danzig than I care about his one province. Yep, he's, he's looking for crossing the strait. That's good. That buys me time. Okay, if we can get that back. Got media enthusiasm on the war leader. We don't have the war goal right this second, but if we get it back, we'll have some positive war score. I haven't occupied any forts in the area, though, so I can't actually demand anything. Okay, come on, game. Work with me. Let's do this. Work with me. Come on, stay attached. Come over this way. Get over here. Follow me. Hide behind the fort. Now I feel like he's coming for this. Nope, he's gonna move into Riga. And go for the siege. 
Okay, we got the War Goal, which puts us at negative War Score. Uh, Strassland's occupied by the Teutons, Kohlberg occupied by the Teutons. Those are worth a surprisingly large amount of War Score, considering that they are not forts. Okay, but we have the War Goal. Can we knock him out of the war just via scaring him out? 51 and 48. I'd say probably not. Probably not. Not yet. Bremen's up here. 0 2 2. We actually have. We need to reinforce a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a break here. I'm going to think about it for a little bit, and in the next episode, hopefully, we can finish getting a good siege off and end this war. So, alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in a little bit. Thanks for watching. See you soon.